My name's Taj. Uh, today we're gonna learn how to do a lucky grind. Um, back in the early 90s, my good friend and one of my favorite riders, John Lucky Engelbert, invented this grind and uh, try to show you how to do it. Just to show you what your bike position will be, this is what it would look like if you weren't moving to be in a lucky grind. Traditionally, this grind's done as an alley grind, going backwards. You can do them forwards; they're not quite as easy. But uh, and you can do them on rails forwards and stuff. So it's kind of a lot you can do with the trick. On a ramp, the easiest way to start learning though is to learn how to do alley grinds first, and then. Once you have that down step by step, you can learn to sort of pop your front peg off while you're grinding. It helps a lot if uh, one of the sides of your pedals doesn't have a lot of teeth or if there's some metal behind the coping so that you can grind on your pedal because uh, the grind is sort of like a back peg pedal grind. Once you're comfortable with that, you just want to whip into the grind pretty hard. And um, the trick is to sort of keep your front peg below the coping as you're going into the grind so that it never pops up onto the coping. And just let your pedal catch and go grind. You'll need to remember as you start to dip your front end down really far to open up your hand so that your fingers don't get squished underneath the grip as it hits the, hits the coping. And, uh, it's pretty fun to play with. You'll find that you can even kind of tilt your bike a little, like almost tabletop it and grind actually on your handlebars a little bit. And, and it's a real fast grind. It's different, different than any other kind of grind, so it's fun to do. 